On today's show, we have a viewer request. Just don't tell them I was already going to review these. All right. Well, as I said, today we've got a viewer request. Uh, it comes from my buddy Vaughn, who uh, I've known for quite a number of years now and a viewer of the channel as well. Thank you, buddy. Uh, currently working on a podcast of his own. I'll, I'll throw a link down below. Give it a listen. It's some cool stuff. Uh, though, truth be told, I was already going to review these, but it was cool to hear somebody reach out with something. So, Vaughn, this is for you, buddy. Uh, as you can see, we've got three Mountain Dews uh, in front of us here, a red, white, and blue, as it is, because, you know, it's summer, it's America, freedom, you know, whatever you want to throw in there. It's soda. Let's stick with that. Uh, so we've got these three flavors here that Mountain Dew put out for the summer. They've got a couple others out there floating around that I haven't gotten a hold of yet, but these were in the fridge, ready to go. Uh, Red-wise, we've got a Star Spangled Splash, which, uh, let's see, what is this one? This is a blast of red berry flavor. Red berry. Uh, and other natural flavors. So we've got red berry. Not blue raspberry, Adam. Sorry, buddy. On the white soda side here, we've got Freedom Fusion. Freedom Fusion is a blast of lemonade and peach flavor, which that does sound interesting. That could be good. Could be. Lastly here, in column C, the blue, bringing it home, we've got Liberty Chill. Liberty Chill, this is the one that could be a nightmare. Could be fantastic. Could be any number of things. 50 number of things to be specific. The flavor is 50 flavors in one do. I'm not sure how that works. I'm not sure why that's a thing. Uh, do they just have leftovers in various bat vats that they just uh, they just dumped in? I, I don't know. We're going to save that one for last, though, because that, that could make or break the whole day. Let's get started here. Let's get started with Star Spangled Splash. Crack into here. Now, remember, this is just red berry. Red berry. Red, Adam. Hmm. It smells about what I expected, a berry flavor. I don't think red's not necessarily a flavor. Red diamond number five, maybe, I don't know. But this, let's see. Yeah, just has that indistinct berry flavor that you get in candy, sodas, etc. Et 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 yeah. It's berry. Yes. Kind of close to strawberry, I would say. Not quite full artificial strawberry, but in that realm. In that realm of strawberry versus a raspberry. Definitely not a cherry. Uh, what are the red berries we got in there? Uh, lingon. Lingonberry. Good. Kind of go to Ikea or something to get a lingonberry soda, but... Yeah. Berry. So is this one any good? This Star Spangled Splash starting us out? Eh. It's all right. It's nothing great. It's nothing different. It's nothing too far out there. So if you want to kind of stay safe, kind of stay in the realm, I will say one thing. It doesn't taste like Mountain Dew and Berry. Uh, which I do appreciate. I like that it's it's not a berry tack on to Mountain Dew flavor. So it's got that going on. It's been a while since I've had Code Red, so I'm not sure how close to Code Red this is. Uh, somebody out there, let me know if you've done a, a comparison there. If you if you're more of a fan of Code Red, where does this sit with you? Uh, but yeah, for me, eh, it's not spectacular. It's not terrible. It's berry. Now. Here we go. Let's go on to Freedom Fusion, which again is lemonade and peach. Now this could be tasty. I'm hoping the lemonade is, again, not Mountain Dew in lemonade, because we've tried that already with, what was it, the Baja Lemonade Lagoon stuff or whatever? Meh. Um, and we've tried peach recently with Pepsi, which was 
terrible. So we're hoping maybe this is the best of both worlds. Mm. Let's see. Hmm. It smells of peach, like peach, like uh, peach rings, peach gummies, and a little bit of citrus, but like lemony citrus, not Mountain Dew. Hmm. Taste wise, I'm not getting much lemonade or even citrus. I can smell citrus in here. I can smell peach and I can smell, smell a lemony sort of scent about it, but I'm not getting much, not getting much lemon, let alone lemonade sort of flavor out of this. Yeah, it's peach. I don't know where that lemonade uh, tag is coming from. Because, yeah, I'm not getting that. This tastes like peach candy, but soda. Uh, which, again, better than what Pepsi did. Meh. Um, I do find it funny, too, on this one and this one. Oh, and on this one as well. Uh, they all claim 0% juice. Just in case you thought, you know what? I'm going to have a little Mountain Dew. I bet it's good for me. It's probably filled with juice, which if that's something you're thinking, you've probably already had way too much soda. Put it down, walk away. So is this one any good? This Freedom Fusion Peach and Lemonade? Eh. It's not, again, not terrible. Not terrible. But it needs the lemonade in there. Again, I could smell it a little, but not really taste it. Uh, obviously, because it's not juice, there's no pulp or texture to it. It's just soda texture. Uh, is that a texture? Soda texture? For today's purposes, we're going to say it is. But it's not, uh, it's not lemonade-y. It really needs to, they need to tart that up a bit to go with that peach in there, that, to ride that sort of sour and sweet uh, that they could do. I just don't think they fully succeeded here. Lastly, we've got all 50 flavors of Liberty Chill, which I am interested in trying uh, of the three, just because what can 50 flavors possibly taste like? I mean, you can go to Baskin Robbins and get what? Get 31 flavors, just try a scoop of every ice cream. It would not go well together. They've got that bubblegum ice cream. Who eats that? Anyone out there eat? bubblegum ice cream. You know what I'm talking about. It's that pink ice cream. It has gumballs in it, like actual gum, in the ice cream, frozen in there. Do you eat that? If so, why? Is it you like chewing the gum and the ice cream? It's weird. You have to admit it's weird. Let me know. Let me know. Correct me. Correct me if it's not weird. You know what else might be weird? This. Hmm, what does this smell like? It just has kind of an indistinct sweet smell about it. Let me smell this real quick. Let's go back to this red berry. Is that it? No, it's not that. It's not berry. It might just be Mountain Dew smelling. Hmm. Not sure what this is. It has a weird aftertaste. It's... It almost tastes soapy. The aftertaste of that is almost soapy. Which I, I don't know what that is. I remember years ago watching a show where they were showing what they do with reclaimed unused paints. 
mixing it all together and using it for like a Habitats for Humanity kind of thing. They were using it to paint things. And they found when you mixed all the paint colors together, it didn't matter what color, they all came out beige. This weird beige. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Did you eat a lot of paint chips when you were a kid? If you take 50 flavors, what I'm assuming are distinct individual flavors that you can you can discern, you could taste, you could identify, and you mix them all up, you get something. You get this. And again, soapy. Yeah. Soapy, almost maybe a little floral. Yeah, like you, like you mistakenly ate some of your, your grandma's decorative soaps, which I think I've mentioned once before. So I wonder if maybe I did that and I just don't recall. It's entirely possible. But that's what this makes me think of. Soapy, floral, oddness. So this last one here, this Liberty Chill, this 50 flavors in one, is this one any good? No. Two thumbs down, no. I do not, of the three, recommend this one. Do you hear me using my serious voice? Listen here out there. No. Yeah, no, this is terrible. This, this definitely was, I think they just drained the tanks at the flavor stations and somebody said, hey, we'll make a million bucks and save some money in the process. <sighs> I mean, hell, they got my two bucks out of this. These ones, if you're gonna if you're gonna seek these out, try either one of these, and uh, you know your mileage may vary a little more than mine. Again, I didn't get lemonade in here. This is just very. This is cleaner. But that's gonna be it here for me today. Uh, I'm gonna throw these back in the fridge, and this I may use to scrub a toilet. I don't know. But I'm going to see all of you here, including you, Vaughn. Again, thanks for this request, buddy. Next time.